Hello and welcome once again to Kitchen Corrections. Um, guys, uh, uh, you're actually supposed to do is... Uh, uh, actually, uh, that's not how you were uh, supposed to do it. It's a segment in which I go after other prominent YouTube chefs and correct any little oopsies they might have made. And oh boy, where to begin with this one? Now, between all the baby pictures and racist minion memes, you probably saw this on Facebook. So yummy's recipe for blueberry mojito otter pops. It seems so y <laughs> delicious, right? Well, it is. It's just the method they went about making it is so stupid. Much like Facebook itself. You know what? Do me a favor. Delete your Facebook account while I roll the intro. Thank you for deleting your Facebook. Humanity will thank you later. So, what's wrong with So Yummy's recipe video? Two things. One, they don't tell you the specific amount of each ingredient you need. Say what you want about me, but at least I put every ingredient amount on the screen. Yeah, like that. Next thing, it's these stupid makeshift popsicle molds. In the video, some dingleberry heated up a knife and used it to turn a gallon-sized zip-top bag into popsicle mold. That sounds super clever. Until you actually try it like I did. So I did what they did in the video. I heated up a knife and cut it into strips. And here's what I ended up with. Looks pretty good so far, but they have one major, major problem. This. The seals on these things are so easy to rip open. Real Otter Pop packages have seals that are three times thicker and stronger than whatever this misery is. Can you imagine the poor Facebook dormy who saw this video, decided to try it, pour his mixture into the tubes, only to have them break, and turn his kitchen into a fruity war zone? Actually, I can, because I know a few Facebook normies who would find memes like this one hilarious. Okay, wrap done, let's get to the popsicle making. All right, grab yourself a nice, big, powerful blender. I'm using the Vitamix, link in the description if you want one. And let's add three and a half cups of blueberries. Now see, I'm listing the ingredients like a good tutorial. Then let's add about two thirds a cup of sugar. Listen, I know in the video they used agave syrup, but I tested it out. It wasn't really delivering the sweetness that I wanted. One cup of loosely packed mint leaves. Half a cup of white rum. And one cup of club soda. Hey, CRJ here. Just want to let you know that you have to put in these two important ingredients, which I forgot to put in. They are one half cup of lime juice and the zest of one lime. I am aware of the irony. Please shut up. Slap on the lid. Blend on high until everything's nice and smooth. You might have to uh, open it up just to loosen everything again. That's fine. Oh, quick note, if you're using a Vitamix, don't over mix it. The friction from blending will cause the thing to heat up and you'll end up with a limpy popsicle. All right, let's give it a quick taste test. Just a tiny bit more rub. Perfect. Huh, blueberries aren't blue, but deep dark purple. Let's fix that. Perfect. Next, take our blend and pour them into proper popsicle molds. Link in the description if you want some. Oh, quick note, don't fill them all the way up to the top. We need to make room for the little handles. Now stick these in the freezer and freeze them overnight. Thankfully, I made some popsicles the week before, so I don't have to wait for them. 
which is good because I'm running out of music to use for my time cards. Leave any suggestions in the comments below. And there we go, folks, a proper blueberry mojito popsicle. I know I said this at the beginning of the video, but please delete your Facebook. They sold your most private information without your permission to third party companies and you still bend over and take it from Zuckerberg. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Oh, and a quick tip. If you have any leftover filling, you can make a boozy, a smoothie with alcohol. Jamba Juice, take note.